here today and today I'm going to show you this beautiful hairstyle called the half up hair bow. Quite frankly, I was intimidated by this hairstyle for way too long. I saw a picture of this hairstyle years ago, maybe on Pinterest or some other website. I tried it and it didn't turn out to be perfect. So I was just like, this looks too easy, but it's not. When you try it, it's so hard. I'm just not even gonna do it, I give up. And then I never really revisited that hairstyle. A couple weeks ago, my friend Steph just sent me a picture and she's like, why don't you do this hairstyle? I don't think you've done this, it looks so beautiful. You should totally do it. And I'm like, mm, that hateful hair bow. I'm not gonna do you. You just look so easy, but you're actually so hard in practice. But then I was like, okay, Mimi, you know, it's great to challenge yourself once in a while. I tried it again and actually I got it the first time I tried it. It was so much easier this time. So it just goes to show you, sometimes you have to try things a few times to actually get it. So today I'm gonna show you quick, easy steps to create this half up hair bow. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and I think it's perfect for the summer. So let's begin. All right, so you're gonna need just a few simple tools for this hairstyle. I'm gonna be using just a hairbrush to brush my hair. I'm gonna need some bobby pins. We're gonna need a hair elastic. And you're definitely gonna need two mirrors, one small mirror, just like that, and then one bigger mirror. So you can use your bathroom mirror. I'm just using another mirror that I have under the camera. I'm just gonna turn around to show you what I'm doing. I am wearing my Luxi hair extensions today and I'm wearing the ombre set because I think with thicker hair, the bowl looks better, but it doesn't mean you can't do it on hair without extensions. So I'm just wearing it for a more dramatic effect. So I'm just gonna turn around and show you what I'm gonna be doing. Now, the first step is I'm gonna take a section from the right and a section from the left, bring the two together and tie them with a hair elastic. Now, you just wanna make sure you're not working with a section that's too thick because that's gonna make it harder to make this bow. So you tie it once and then the second time you tie it, you don't completely tie it. You do this kind of loopy thing. So you, let, you create a loop and then you're gonna take this section and you're gonna split it in two and that's gonna be your bow. Now, I'm splitting it by inserting two thumbs inside of the bow, and then I'm going there with my middle finger, or you can go with index finger, whichever one works better, and I'm just spreading out this bow a little bit. So I'm just gonna spread it, I'm gonna take my bobby pin, and I'm gonna go from the bottom, and I'm gonna insert it into this bow. And then I'm gonna take another bobby pin, and I'm gonna do the same thing from the top so that it's nice and secure. Then I'm gonna take my left side and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna spread the hair a little bit first. Spread it. Hold it with my index finger. I'm gonna go from the top first now. Insert the bobby pin. And then I'm gonna take another bobby pin and insert it from the bottom. Then you can check your bow in the mirror. It's gonna be really important to do that because obviously you don't have eyes in the back of your head. So just check the mirror and just readjust the bow so they look somewhat similar in size. You might wanna squish one or spread the other. Just do whatever you need to do just to make them look more or less equal. Now the last step of this bow is to create the middle part that's in between these two sides. So I'm just gonna grab this remainder hair. I'm not gonna take all of it. I'm just gonna take probably about a little more than 50% of that hair. So I'm just gonna grab this section. I'm gonna go over my bows and I'm gonna create an opening here. And I'm gonna insert this hair in there and then pull it through the bottom. <laughs> so it's a bit of an operation to do, but it's really easy in practice. You just pull that hair through. And again, if you need to grab your mirror, grab your mirror, just make sure nothing is sticking out. So once I've pulled that top section through the loop, I'm just gonna insert a bobby pin here at the top just to make sure that it doesn't unravel throughout the day. And that's it. have do hair bow check definitely give it a try you can see it's very easy like I said it might take you a few tries to actually get it have two mirrors handy because you're gonna need them and just practice 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 until you get it I think it's so beautiful it's definitely worth practicing thank you so much for tuning in make sure to take a picture of your bow once you've mastered it I'd love to see your recreations make sure to hashtag Loxy hair on your Instagram have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week
Love you guys. Bye.